Mortal Kombat's Battle of the Realms just released and I need to say something about it. For once, this desperation to speak about a new MK thing is not just to avoid being inundated with comments and tweets asking about it. No, this time it's because I need to say something about how goddamn appalling this film is. I won't go too in depth because I've got plans for future coverage, but I can tell you right now that this film is simply atrocious, despite all hope to the contrary. I mean, I should have taken the film unironically opening with Ultra Instinct Shaggy choking Scorpion as a sign of how awful the writing would be, but then I should also have stopped giving modern MK the benefit of the doubt somewhere around 2015. The story set up as if it's an MK2 where Liu Kang has to beat Shao Kahn, even though he couldn't even beat Goro last time, but it opens with an outworld invasion already in progress somehow, Raiden gives up his godhood for basically no reason, then we're also juggling the Cyber Initiative and Shinnok trying to merge the Kamidogu to revive the One Being, effectively making this MK2, 3, 4 and Descent all in one. And if you thought Scorpion's Revenge struggled to tell a compelling story by trying to give Scorpion's story as much significance as the main MK1 plot, all in less than an hour and a half, then you can imagine how much of a mess this film is. New characters are introduced and given no characterization or backstory before being killed off brutally. Lee Mei and Jade are outworld loyalists because that's not been done to death in the last two years alone. Johnny Cage is used for unfunny comic relief far too often, and Liu Kang is given unearned significance for the guy who couldn't even win a single fight in the last film. And it really sucks because MK2 had never been tapped for a proper adaptation before. You know, MK2 the series go-to for nostalgia pandering? It gets its first adaptation outside of a very loose take in the Malibu comics almost three decades ago, and we get this unmitigated disaster. You know, I just put up a poll yesterday asking people what they thought about the upcoming cannonball that compares the different versions of MK2 and its characters, whether or not I should include the Malibu comics and Battle for the Realms, and honestly, even though a lot of people want me to, I'm not going to. This film does not qualify as an adaptation of MK2, it really doesn't barely qualifies as a film, honestly. The fights are the worst I've ever seen. They're too fast to the point of being incomprehensible half the time, like the previous film, but somehow even worse. And most fights end in less than 20 seconds and smash cut to the next, without even making it clear if the loser is dead or not. And the fights that go on the longest are Liu Kang and Shao Kahn's Dragon Ball Z fight and the horrendous Kaiju battle that caps off the film. I genuinely could not make this shit up if I tried. And some of you know how creative I can get with MK. To summarise exactly how bad this film is, somehow, and I've no idea how they fucking manage this. Mortal Kombat 2021 was not the worst MK movie released in 2021. That film had a clear focused narrative at least. Yes it was a bad one but there were small arcs for some of the cast and it wasn't trying to juggle a season's worth of plot lines and character arcs in the length of two episodes. It knew what it wanted to do and it did it, albeit incompetently. This film is even less focused than Scorpion's Revenge, has less reason to get invested in anything going on, is difficult to follow even with the level of familiarity with the canon they're pulling from that even I have, and leaves me wondering what the hell they could possibly do for a third film now that they've rushed through, wasted and outright ruined so many great stories from the games. I'm guessing Khan returns with Twindell and Melina to wet Stan Pants, and they bring about Armageddon, which will be stopped with yet another underwhelming final fight. I say again, they somehow made a movie that is worse than MK2021. I guess I was wrong all this time. There is some talent left in this franchise. The talent of making 2021 be not the worst MK movie in its year of release. Fucking whoops. I don't have any content to recommend this time, so instead, I'm going to reserve this slot for someone else's take on the film. Probably Bruce Poet or Sonic RxD. In the meantime, go rewatch my MK2021 video and remind yourself that that film is not the worst MK film of 2021. Jesus Christ.